Okay. Um, I just have a question. Is it clear what we were doing? Está claro lo que estábamos haciendo? ¿O tienen preguntas? Yes, no. Quiere decir de que nosotros vamos a, 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 a decir qué es lo que tenemos y vamos a decir qué es lo que podemos tomar y lo que no podemos tomar cuando tenemos algún un dolor de algo. Yes. Sí. Ah, ya. Yeah. Y cuando y cuando Yo quiero decir, conexión. Sí, lo siento. Los perdí por unos segundos. Sorry, Raquel. Can you repeat that again, please? Este. Headache, dolor de cabeza, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Headache. 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 Ah, hate it. Ok, está bien. Entonces, sí, vamos a decir así como le decía, ¿verdad? Si yo tengo dolor de cabeza, tomo pastillas para el dolor de cabeza, tal pastilla, ¿verdad? Y en no, sería no tomes pastillas, digamos, como acetaminofén. Algo okay. así, este, entendimos. Ah, okay. Correcto. Okay, sí, le, you're welcome. Thank you. Ok, vaya, les comentaba a algunos de sus compañeros, ¿verdad? Que como el tema son los imperativos, nosotros estamos hablando de lo que son órdenes o indicaciones que tenemos o debemos seguir. Por ejemplo, cuando nosotros nos enfermamos y vamos al doctor, los doctores siempre nos dan las indicaciones de qué es lo que vamos a hacer. So, for example, if I go to the doctor and I have a backache, si tengo dolor de espalda, ustedes como mis doctores, ¿qué me dirían que yo tengo que hacer? Ok, Silvia. Si es dolor de espalda, no hacer eh, fuerzas, no okay. levantar objetos pesados. And how would you say that in English? Do not ex exercise. Okay, don't exercise or do not exercise. Thank you. Siguiendo el ejemplo de Silvia, que decía no levante objetos pesados. Don't leave. No levante. Don't leave um, heavy things. What else? Ok, Silvia. Eh, poner compresas. Ok. And how would that be? ¿Cómo quedaría eso? Ya voy a ver igual. Ok. Yeah. Do uh, not run. Ok, do not run. Vaya, la otra aclaración que les hacía, ya que estamos mencionando los imperativos, ¿verdad? Es que generalmente aquí no usamos lo que es un sujeto, sino que vamos, si son afirmativos, ¿verdad? Iniciamos con lo que es el verbo más el complemento. Y si son negativos, empezamos con lo que es el don, el verbo y complemento. Así como decían ustedes, don't run, ¿ok? Don't Exercise. Okay. Uh, you can also say use 
muscle cream. Use crema muscular. Or take a pill every six hours. Tome una pastilla cada seis horas. For example, we have affirmative and we also have negative imperatives, okay? Okay, is that clear for you? Yes. Sí, les ha quedado claro. Sí. Okay, sí, los veo así como que algo tranquilitos. Okay. Um, well, that's basically the second section. So, sorry. Vaya, les decía que eso es prácticamente lo que es la sección 2. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta. No. De mi parte, este no compartió, ¿verdad? Lo que dijo de las enfermedades. No, para por, que conociéramos más. Sí, por cuestiones de tiempo, ¿verdad? Ya no se los pude enviar, pero sí ahí se los he estado preparando. O sea, sí, yo sé que tengo okay, eso pendiente, gracias. lo estoy preparando, no crean que, que se me ha olvidado. Gracias. You're welcome. Ok, ¿y cómo vamos en la plataforma? ¿Ya avanzamos un poquito más? Por este tema que, estoy, que estamos, estoy yo. Ok, excelente. Yo igual, teacher, ahí estoy. Ok, perfecto. Ok. Vaya, si no hay preguntas o dudas, vamos a iniciar lo que es la sección 3. And the first thing that we are going to study there is vocabulary about places and things. El primer contenido que tenemos ahí, ¿verdad? Es acerca de los lugares y cosas. So I need you to tell me which places do you know. ¿Qué lugares conocen ustedes? O, oh, which places do you like to visit? ¿Qué lugares les gusta visitar a ustedes y por qué? The beach. Okay, the beach. Yeah, that's a really nice place. The park. Okay, the park. Yes. Another because one. Because we walk. <laughs> yeah, you can exercise. You can go and take a walk. Um, that's really good. Another place. The mountain. Mountains. Yes, mountains. And do you like to go to the mall? ¿Le gusta ir a centros comerciales? Sí. Okay. To the movie theater? ¿Al cine? Sí. <laughs> yes. What about restaurants? También. And school? ¿Le gusta ir a la escuela o le gusta ver a la escuela? 
More or less. <laughs> ah, ok. O eran de los que se escapaban, como yo. Yeah, but, but that was at university. Eso fue en la universidad, ¿verdad? Pero... Ok. And what about the bank? Do you like going to the bank? Bank. No. I don't Casi like. no nos gusta. Oh, why? ¿Por qué no le gusta ir al banco? Which why? Sorry. ¿Por qué? Ah, la espera, por tener que pagar la fila. Ok. Por las filas que se hacen. The lines, yes. Oh, the line, yes. The zoo. The, the zoo. zoo. Ah, yes. Do you like going to the zoo? What's the zoo? Yeah, el zoológico. ¿Hace cuánto no van al zoológico? Uh, Uy, un montón. The last year. Last year? No. Okay. Yeah, I think that I have like 10 years without going to the zoo. I'm not quite sure, I don't remember. Okay, so basically in this section, that's something that we are going to be studying, places and things. So I'm going to share with you right now the video that we have there. And then we are going to be working. So give me a few seconds. Okay, and let me know if you listen, please. Avísenme si escuchan. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, you can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two, you can buy bread at a supermarket. Three, you can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four, you can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five, you can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six, you can buy stamps at a post office. Seven, you can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight, you can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so you could see there are some things that we can do in some specific places. Pudieron ver ahí, ¿verdad?, que hay ciertas cosas que nosotros podemos hacer en lugares específicos. So, for example, eh, we have the example of the bank. Teníamos el ejemplo del banco. What things can we do in a bank? ¿Qué es lo que podemos hacer en el banco? Let's see. Ok, Arely. Cambiar billetes sería... Cambiar billetes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how do you say cambiar billetes? Okay, Silvia. You can pay bills at the bank. Okay, you can pay bills at the bank. What else? Okay, uh, Mauricio. Mm 
No se le escucha, Mauricio. My Sorry. Uh, Mauricio, can you say that one more time? Make transactions. Ah, thank you. Make transactions. Yes. Okay. Um, let's see. There was another place there. Drugstore. La farmacia. What things can you do at a drugstore? Okay, Silvia. Buy medicine. Okay, buy medicines. What else? ¿Qué más se puede hacer aparte de comprar medicina? Here in our country, for example. Aquí en nuestro país, si nosotros vamos a las farmacias, además de comprar medicinas, ¿qué más podemos? Ok, Silvia. Eh, inyectarse. No sé cómo decirlo en inglés. Ok, ya, yeah. inyectarse. Ya vamos a averiguar. Ok. What else? ¿Qué más? There is another service that we have here in our country when we go to drugstores. Aquí en el país, ¿verdad? Tenemos esa ventaja que podemos hacer varias cosas en la farmacia. What is one of them? Pagar facturas. Okay, and how do you say pagar facturas? Silvia? Pay bills. Okay, yes, you can pay bills. What else? Okay. Thank you, Silvia. Pasar consulta. Okay. Yeah, you can have a doctor's appointment. Buy medicine. Buy medicine. You can also buy food. También pueden comprar comida. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are many things that we can do at a drugstore. What about, um, let me think. Okay. Exámenes como el de la azúcar. A veces suelen hacerlo en la azúcar. Okay, yeah, you can check the, the pressure, the blood pressure. Um, you can take some tests. Okay. Let's see. Which other place do you remember that was on the video? Otro lugar que se mencionaba ahí en el video? Supermarket. Okay, supermarket. Gas station. Gas station. What can we do at a gas station? Okay, Silvia. Um, cargar el tanque. Put gas, yes. Okay, yeah, there are many things that we can do. Uh, there are some gas stations here in our country that you can mm -hmm. go and drink a coffee, or you can buy food too, many things. Okay. Sí, hay varias cosas que nosotros podemos hacer, ¿verdad? Si vamos a una gasolinera. Okay, um, any questions? Is correct to say, uh, para, para decir, uh, recargar el celular, the chair. Charge. The chair, cell phone. Yeah. Um, the chair, cell so phone. Most of the time, we would say, uh, like, put credit. Credit. Eso sería lo que es la recarga. Credit. 
okay? You can load credit on your cell phone, load credit. Así sería, recargar, ¿verdad? Low credit. Ok. Ok. You're welcome. Vaya, si no hay otra pregunta, ¿verdad? Vamos con otro tema, que son las preposiciones de lugar. What do you know about prepositions of place? In front of. Ok, in front of. ¿Qué más? On. on, thank you, Silvia. Next, Next. Behind. In. behind, in, okay. Three. Besides. Besides. Okay. Vaya, veo que sí se saben algunas de las preposiciones. Perfecto. Uh, so now we are going to watch the following video. And then we are going to be practicing with the prepositions that we have there, okay? Mm, give me just a few seconds, okay? Uh, no, this is not the one that I wanted to share. This is the one. Okay, here we go. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. 
If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is Gus gas station? Where is the hospital? Where is the U.S. post office? Where is Second Avenue bookstore? Where is Dam's drugstore? After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so basically there we have the video about some prepositions of place, okay? And if I ask, where is the hospital? What would your answer be? Si les pregunto, ¿dónde está el hospital? ¿Cuál va a ser la respuesta que ustedes me van a dar? On this map, can you see the hospital? Logran ver el hospital. Ok, Silvia, thank you. The hospital is on the, on the center street. Is on center or center street. Ok. Thank you. Ok. Janet. Or beside the gas station. Besides the gas station, okay, oh. thank you. Okay. Uh, what about the U.S. Post Office? Where is it? Okay, let's see. I'm gonna choose someone. Um, Mauricio, can you tell us where is the U.S. Post Office? Mm, across from Maria Restaurant? Okay. Okay, across or behind? Across. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, let's check. Um, let me see, Isael, where is the bookstore?
Hello, Isael. No, logro ver dónde está. It is here. Oh. It says Second Avenue Bookstore. That's the name of it. Esta cabal acá, no sé si... Si lo logra ver. It's behind the... Okay, so let's ask for help. Vamos a ver, le va a ayudar a um, Raquel. Is it from Liz's office? O sea, está enfrente uh, de Liz's post office. U.S. Post Office. Okay. Uh -huh. Another option. Otra opción, ¿cuál sería? In the calle Center Street. <laughs> okay, it's on. It's on. La calle Street. Yeah. It's on the on the center street. No. Okay, pero para ser un poco más específica, si usted se fija, está en la esquina. Hmm. So how would you say that? ¿Cómo se dice en la esquina de? Ah. En la esquina, en la esquina de... Sería y at the corner of, on the corner on the corner of Second Avenue. Okay, is on the corner of Second Avenue and Center Street. Porque estamos especificando ah, que está en la esquina de la calle Central y la Segunda Avenida. Okay, mm, thank you. Okay. So now let's see. Um, let me check. Ernesto, can you tell us where is Al's coffee shop? No, I permit. Okay. Mm, the coffee shop is... From front of the supermarket in front of the supermarket are you sure hmm? está seguro que está en frente del supermercado no sé dónde está la entrada del café pero yeah but we have some i don't favorite shoes si se fija nice. acá tenemos favorite ah, shoes no And... no había visto que ah okay okay no sería Okay. Far um, to the to the next next to the to the to the shoes. 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 Favorite. Shoes. Favorite. Shoes. Shop. Shop. Ah, okay. Shoe shop. Mm, favorite yeah. shoes. Okay. Shoe shop. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, so, for example, when you are saying where a place is, we are going to begin like this. It's, for example, on the corner of, and then you say, or you can say that it's next to, for example, uh, 
just looking at the image with the example, the last example, I can say that Al's coffee shop is next to favorite shoes, okay? Or I can see that it's across from the movie theater. Okay. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Vaya, este, eso es con respecto a las preposiciones. Generalmente vamos a ir iniciándolas con, o bien, el nombre del lugar o con el pronombre it. Ok, decíamos, ¿dónde estaba la cafetería? You can say the coffee shop is, o it is, y luego ustedes dicen la preposición. Next to, behind, um, across from. On the corner of, y así sucesivamente. Uh, no sé si hasta acá tienen alguna pregunta o alguna duda. No. No, teacher. Ok, vaya, dicen que no. Ya es prácticamente la hora. Uh, Janet decía que sí. ¿Tiene preguntas? No. Ah, ok. Le puse que sí le estábamos escuchando. Ah, ok. Sorry. Thank you. Ok. Vaya. Por el día de ahora nos quedaríamos hasta acá, ¿verdad? Mañana vamos a retomar lo que son las preposiciones del lugar y vamos a estar practicando con un pequeño mapa. Ok, así que necesito que se las aprendan bien para así venir a practicar, ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, so that's going to be all for today. And thank you so much for your time. See you tomorrow. So, bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.